but but then how was that transition for you? You know, we talk about it's, it's a lot of talk about mental health, right? And we dealt with it yeah. a lot of different. Yeah. But there is something with you know, like my best friend right here. You know, he always says some crazy stuff, and I have to like remind him, like, no, you one of them ones. No, you know. But in terms of you get in the wrong situation, and it's a lot of guys in the league who are like they're they're NBA guys, but they never get in the right situation to even be shown or to even show what they can do. How was it for you when you know that knee injury, micro fracture was was new back then? For you to really have confidence in yourself. Every single day, the ups and downs of it. Some days you feel like yourself. Some days you don't feel like yourself. And, like, I went through it in terms of my role. Like, one day I might get two shots. One day I might get eight. Very seldom do I get ten. Yeah, the only thing that don't change is uh, what you've done in the past and your popularity. Like, you're always going to be Andre Iguodala. You're always going to be Penny Hardaway. Mm -hmm. My name ain't as big, but nobody knew. They at least knew Evan Turner if they showed up to a game. And they say, like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, you know what I mean? So, so how was that? Yeah, for me, uh, when I had the micro fracture, I knew it was instantly the, the worst decision I had made in my life because I could just tell I was different. Before that, I could maneuver and manufacture through things, but it was so much pain. It was taking me so long after a game to get out of the car. You know, you just get yep. up out of the car and go in the house. Bro, I had to open the door, swing my legs out, use the car door to get up, and I had just played. 38, 39 minutes in the game, I knew then that something wasn't right, and I was never the same after the microfracture surgery. And I was one of the first guys to have microfracture surgery. So that that just destroyed me. It wasn't even a an, – and it felt like my legs got – my left leg got weaker. My, my quad mm-hmm. and my VMO on the strength work, it could never get strong enough. It just seemed like my left quad just stayed with the – it was very weak and atrophy the entire time and never got back as strong as the right. And uh, I just knew I wasn't the same. Before then, having like minor little meniscus tears and getting those repaired, I felt the same way. I felt like I had a little bounce in the edge. But after the microfracture surgery, man, I was, I knew at that point I was just trying to hold on to something that wasn't there, man. And mentally, it did mess with me. But at the same time, man, I felt like I was blessed. And uh, it was hard. But uh, it, it'll definitely get you mentally, man, if you're not ready for it. And I've watched a lot of brothers just go through that. And I can definitely sympathize.